is a blustery December night here in eastern Idaho. We're 250 miles east of Boise for some big time college hoops out west on a Friday night. Inside Hero Arena at Mountain America Center, Boise State, well, kind of the hosts tonight. Three and three out of the Mountain West. St. Mary's three and four. This is technically a neutral site game here in Idaho Falls, but boy, we are deep in Bronco country. Starting point guard role. This is the fourth straight game. Didn't begin the year as a starting point guard. Early on, they go underneath, and there's the first bucket of the game. Omar Stanley, the St. John's transfer. He is an energy guy. Dagan Hart looking for the backdoor cut. A nice finish underneath for, for, well, a better December than a forgettable November for both teams. As Tyson Dagan Hart knocks down a three and a 7 0 run for Boise State to begin this ballgame. In the month of December. And Jefferson, two for 24 now on the season from behind the arc. Now Boise going the other way. Dagan Hart right to the basket. He's already got five. My man is ready to play. Takes it to the cup. First half, can't have that when playing on the road in a tough environment. Watch out. Beautiful backdoor cut and a finish by Shibuzo Abba. I am a fan, and he is going to be a really good player at Boise. Mahaney trying to spark something for St. Mary's. Finally, he gets a three. That's what Anderson, six seconds. Goes back out, three ball now for Keane, and it goes. Come on. Okay, you, you, this is not a neutral side game. That is a hometown <laughs> bounce. St. Mary's with space on the inbound. Dukas, and that's the first paint points of the night for the Gales. I, I tried to do some research and figure out he's got to be the only guy to get to. Uh-oh. My goodness, that's what he does, right? Ability to facilitate <laughs> offense out of the The Broncos up 13, approaching the midway point in the first half. That's a good pass from Mahaney. Saxon able to get it underneath. The floor going up for that rebound. Big time board, but that shows his athleticism, right? Abo now launching. Gets it. Come on. When it rains, it pours. Issue so far with Boise State. Everything's kind of a half second, half second late. They got lucky on that possession. Yeah, a broken play that leaves trying to get something going for St. Mary's, which has been tough to find. Mahaney. Thompson underneath, beautiful pass and a finish for Jefferson. He's a big time player. Can he develop it to a point guard? Whining. Crossover and the floater. Well, passing and holding is not what you want to do. Terrific pass. Marshall Otis. My goodness. Mason Forbes. Well, a lot of high expectations for both these teams coming into the season. They oh. play tough schedules. What a move right there. Tyson Dagenhart slips through the defense. Come on. That is terrific. Mahanis able to score anyway. Marshall Otis, forgive me. Who knows what to do when he gets in there. Defense collapses. Get that ball out. And that's a move. A growth man move. Aiden Mahaney willing St. Mary's back into this ball game. Is finally getting some looks around the rim. The ball's finally moving. Good pass. Better finish underneath. Anderson gets saved by Boise State. Three on two. Anderson, nifty move to the bucket, lays it in with the left hand. Come on, a little lefty finish. The finger roll. Right Taking hard in the post. Got all kinds of attention oh. for Burton to slam it home. Come on. Cam Martin comes flying in. Good defense. And Marcelona takes it away. Three on two chance. Good dish. And there's Jefferson. Saw him play last year. Trent. He was spectacular. Marcellonis gets that one. And now St. Mary's has themselves in business. If they get open four situations. Saxon, extra pass and a finish. Oh my word. <laughs> through. What a slam. Mason Forbes gets balls. Meadow comes in, slips right off the iron. David Hart, second chance, gets it. I really like that set. Anderson knocked away. Turnover. Marcellonis lays it in. Now just a one possession game. Dagenhart. I want to have something to say about that. Makes a really good pass and can't get to the That was a terrific pass, but I'm going to be honest. The offense for Boise State doesn't look good right now. Up 
elbow got that. something for Boise State, but he threw everybody till he runs right into Kim Morton, my oh my. And Baron Dukas gets that bucket. That, towards the end of last season, trying to find his rhythm. Roddy Anderson just floating onto the basket. Boise State hasn't made a field goal now in three and a half. Sacks into the basket. Can't get the bunny for the second chance from Jefferson. I like to call those Kevin Love. At the one and the five. Right. And Stanley and Campbell, I think both of them. Chase Whiting, you, you know exactly what you're getting. You, you sort of not, I, I like the ability to play both because they're so different as players. Stanley's a terrific athlete. He can get out and usually cover ball screens. I hate a little too quick. What a move. Turns on the Jets, gets by everybody for a lane. But for example, on offense, they would be five out right now if it were Cam Martin. Meanwhile, Dukas gets a bucket on the other side, gets by Dukas. 57 47 is our score. With five minutes to go here in this game. Marshall Onis now. Hang time. Off the window for two. And a timeout called by Randy Bennett. That's gets rejected. St. Mary's will look to push, but Haley trying to get to the basket. Challenges Whiting, gets it, and one. Uh -oh. The ball well. For that matter, nobody has for St. Mary's. Only 2 of 13 for three. That's what makes him so difficult to defend. Aiden Mahaney has not come off the floor tonight. Five-point game is team down. Oh, no. Strong move as Stanley gets the finish. Where they've had a hard time. Mahaney challenging Anderson, gets it off the window for two. How strong was that? Find ways to get him in space and let him go. Anderson, good on ball defender. Pass with Mahaney. You had two guys right in the same spot, makes it tough. Tough look with six to shoot, big rebound underneath. Down low for Boise State. Abo goes up and gets it. What a terrific defensive possession. Anderson got stuck behind. Maintains pressure on the ball. That, that was a terrific defensive stand. Well, when you absolutely have to get a defensive stop. Edo, Keen, and Anderson. The other four can switch all the way through. You're a little bit better. Huge possession here for St. Mary's. Marcel Onis challenging Dagan Hart. Doesn't get a whistle, <laughs> but gets the two. And it's a four-point game. Shot clock is off. There's Anderson. Are they going to foul him? Okay. Now they're going to foul him. They have to. And it's Mahaney who fouls Dagan hard, so he'll go to the line for two free throws here. They need a rim pressure guy. A little bit off. St. Mary's going to figure it out, but it's just going to take a little time. Two clutch free throws there for Tyson Dagan hard. Here come the games. Barcelona's across midcourt. He attacks the rim, gets the layup. Took a while. Eight seconds to go. Still a four-point game. Boss comes in to try to get some defense. Came the inbound, and we're nearly taken away on the inbound to Rice. Struggled the most because of that, because he relies on offenses setting the Anderson game. Gets the first, not the second. Duke is the rebound. Final seven seconds. Coming up, it's Mahaney. Mahaney's going to have to put it up quickly. They're going to run out of time, and there's a the ball game. Boise State goes on to win 63 58, but a whistle. There's going to be free throws here. Falls. What a wacky night. Late night on a Friday. Because you've had shot clock issues really all night. Mahaney gets pulled. So if, there's a, if there really is a full second on the clock, there is time. 
for St. Mary's to come back and tie this one. This is this is wild here in Idaho Falls. Kane's going to inbound, gets it through. I mean, well, that, now they're calling the ball game. Okay, that's it. 63-60, being the final. My goodness, my goodness, Boise State. Maybe a signature win to start the year. One that's going to probably look better come March than it looks tonight. But the Broncos hang on 43. They go to 4-3, and three, a wire-to-wire -wire win over St. Mary's. This was the toughest win. It wasn't pretty at times. They just had to find a way to win. St. Mary's just not enough firepower offensively. And for all that is holy, you have to make free throws to win at the high major level. Yeah, St. Mary's didn't do a good enough job of that. For my partner, Terrence Oglesby, my name is Trent Rush. On behalf of our entire Fox Sports crew, thanks for joining us. Boise State gets a win from Idaho Falls, 63-60, as they take down St. Mary's here in Idaho.